Hey, Third Year Bass and Diaries here. Bass Jazz TV. Holla at your boy. Yeah, we're here doing it. I'm gonna do an unboxing for you guys. I just got it from Freaking Tech Warehouse. I can tell you right now, this is about to be awesome. I have some great baits in here. I've got some, some hopefully, I haven't even cracked the box yet. So you guys are gonna be the first to see it. Boxing, unboxing, yes. Big shout out, Tackle Warehouse. Love you guys. Z-Man, love you guys. You guys have been supporting me the entire time on my fishing journey. So we're gonna do this again. Let's see here what we got, folks. See what we have here. Uh, uh, oh gosh. You know? All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. All right? Uh, let's go. Okay. See we got orange form here. Oh, wow. Let's see. First things first, out the box. Oh my God. Yo, Zuri. Yes, Prism Shad. I actually like this one quite a bit. Prism Shad, I like it. Um, it dives, I believe, around like six feet or so, that in between, more like fall when those fish are kind of getting down there in that water column a little bit when it's a little bit warmer, but they want to stay high because they notice that those minnows are floating around. I actually got it in a trout, more of a trout color. A lot of people, hopefully this will focus here. <laughs> a lot of people don't notice, but California has a lot of lakes that have trout in them. So if you're ever up here in California, Holla at your boy. Yeah. All right. Now, folks, next on the list, you got another Yozuri Shad suspending bait this time. As we know also in California, this is probably the primary foliage of what these fish feed on here in California. Okay. This is one of the primary ones. This one dives, I believe, to about uh, six feet. Yeah, six feet, just like that one. Yeah. So thus, can't wait. Get both of these on the water. Going to be freaking nice. This is going to be real interesting. <laughs> Anywho and how, but I'm loving this. Can't wait to get these on the water. Thus, new one. Okay, another bait. Let's go to the next one. Let's see. I like to thank Mike Iconelli for putting on, putting this on me. Like, he's a great pro, great guy who goes out there and is hype about fishing. But most of all, he uses a product that I personally love, even for just for a search bait. I know it's like a light tackle, it's fall time. You know, we have more of a shad and those fish are just following those shad balls, which is a great thing. I think the freaking VMC gliding jig is one of the best things that have ever come out. I mean, thank you Tackle Warehouse for having this in stock. I can't wait till you guys get more of the colors. <laughs> Holla at your boy on that one. But I can tell you right now, I'm gonna be using a lot of that up there. A lot of Z-Man plastics just on this bad boy right here. So that combination, let me see, I have that one. Let me see, I have nickel plated one, obviously, you know, silver one, silver plated. I even have more of a, uh, what is this, a black, a black plated one, also 316th ounce, 1 8th ounce. Um, they don't have a crazy amount of weight to them because most of them I feel like they don't need to. They also, they have the willow blade one. I also have the uh, Oklahoma blade. The Oklahoma blade I think is really good um, for the most part, I think it's going to be an astonishing thing for to see these things actually <laughs> on the on the water. Period. Um, the biggest question is is that how am I going to pair this with those up there? The Z-Man baits, the jerk shads. Your um, actually Z-Man has quite has a huge line of shad baits that a lot of you need to take a look at even smaller ones that would fit on this and make this look really, really good in, in the water. And since Z-Man has a natural buoyant type um, type bait, uh, this will actually help the fall ratio with the glide bait actually fall at more of a simmer type motion, like a dying shad, if you kind of let it get in there, especially if you're using something like a uh, 1 8 ounce, 1 8 ounce VMC glide jig. It's going to be something else to deal with that the fish have never seen that's going to make it look more realistic in the water than ever before. Hey man, crawdads. Yeah, I think this is going to be a great addition to my arsenal. Um, as if anybody that knows me, I'm a very authentic guy. I love spin reels. I know most people don't. They love uh, bait casters. But... Um, me personally, I think that um, spin reels are 
easier, they're faster, they're, I can cast a lot easier, I can uh, skip a lot easier. It's, um, <laughs> it's just something that I think is amazing, actually. Um, <laughs> just wow. Um, gotta love them for this. Oh, wow. Let's see it, folks. Let's see it. Tell you what. Okay, there it is. There it is. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. Wow. Look at that. Wow. I personally love it. Personally love this bad boy. Thank you, Luz, for creating a great product. I think it's going to hold up for a while. <laughs> this is amazing. Whew, smooth as silk coming right out the box. Whew. Wow. Oh, wow. All the way up to 14 pound capacity. Let me see. Oh, wow. Whew. Actually, no. 10. 10. Take that back. 10. 10 pound capacity. Oh, wow. But feels great. Feels smooth. Thanks, Luz. All right, here. Let's see. Moving on. Lose speed school now uh, for my long awaited one that I've waited on for uh, quite a while now, but I think it'll be a gem down the road. Um, Z Man, obviously, gotta love it. Gotta love this bait binder. It's a bait binder. I think it's, I think it's something that if you're a, a, a bank fisherman, a guy who likes to you know move around on the you know on those bodies of water. I think it'll be it'll be great, even if you're going on a boat. Like let's let's say somebody says last minute, hey, let's go go on a trip real quick. Let's just make a quick run, something like that. You got something to do it with. Um, God, I like this thing. Um, so I'm buckling here. I'm buckling of it. Wham! Obviously, it has the rings in it. Two, three, four rings in it. <sighs> Compartments like crazy. I can put baits in here. I can put terminal tackle in here i can obviously put bags because you know z-man bags have a little loop on the side of them that able you to hold the baits and this is going to be able to hold quite a few baits i mean look at these rings these rings are huge you know so at the end of the day when we're talking about something that that's quality something that's made something that's that's truly genuine you can definitely 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 get that out of um out of z-man um, obviously, like I said, I love this bag. You know, there it is, folks. Your bait binders. There we go. Your bait binders. Yes, this is all. You know, an example of how it can be used. All the things that it can be, be implemented in it. So thus, um, it also has a little carrying handle, like a little carrying case. That's sweet. That's so sweet. Oh my god. I don't care. Anyway, this is going to be a great addition. Thank you, Tackle Warehouse. I'd like to thank Z-Man, certainly. Thank Luz. Thank VMC. I can't wait. Mike Iaconelli, thank you for these freaking glide jigs. You guys did an awesome job with these. I think these are going to go great. Yo, Zuri, thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. I can't wait to get this on the water. Can't wait to do a video for you guys on the water. Once again, Thurgeon Bass Diaries. We're out here, Bass Jazz TV. Stay tuned in. Let's get it.